And now it's time for something outrageous. Let's see what awaits us in here. I'm expecting bad things. Let's just, let's just eat that. Yeah, having Yoshi for this will probably make this a lot easier, considering I'm seeing lots and lots of Wigglers. All right, I'm gonna take that with me. Good thing I did. Oh, super. Just a ton of bullet bills. Like, I didn't have time to react there. <laughs> Yoshi, I just noticed that he wasn't with me anymore. Okay. Is there something there? No. So... And I lost Yoshi. Okay. Can you fire again? That's not... This is not working out so well for me. Let's try this again. We went through our one run where uh, I just don't do it right. Let's try another run where hopefully I do. Wow. All right. Just stay on the Yoshi. Stubs like this that I don't like the pop filter on my mic, but uh, it is necessary. Let's uh, grab that. I landed on Yoshi. I'm not supposed to get hit when that happens. There we go. And that's how that's how you're maybe supposed to do it. Okay. Feel like we're close to the end? I don't know though. That didn't look good. Can I eat the fire? I think I can. There we go. Probably need what's in there. No, but I'll take it. there yet I need I need on top of that up here would like that okay Well, I got him. And I made it. I, I made it to the end. I don't care about the ticker tape anymore. I made it to the end. That's another one down. And we have made it to Funky. This is the final one. So I'm going to need some stuff. So let's go die in Funky and then... uh figure out how to do it properly. Oh, I need to get out from there. Like, immediately. Not sure I could have eaten that. Let's, uh, see what's in there. Well! I, I mean, I, I can't really complain about that, can I? Easy kill there. Thanks to the shell. What? Why didn't you jump like I said? Okay, now we can fly. To uh, a game breaking degree? Pretty close to it. Alright, well. We made it pretty far. 
that I passed a good portion of the level. Like, they just allow me to do this until here. Then he called for reinforcements! No! All right, we, we got it. We got Yoshi back. We got the cape back. None of those are the, the super ones. None of them are flashing, even though they're red. So I can't... Can't get anything off of them. How? I swear some of these are just like the hitboxes aren't aren't playing properly. God, this is a long level. They're just throwing everything they got at me. All right. Oh, it's a one-up. Well, okay. Damn it. Are we at the end yet? You are a super player. Hooray! I did it! try continue and save all right so we have now beaten the special area this is the last of the the exits for us in the game and as you can see clearly here we have changed the entire world um everything is now a different palette uh it's a different color for everything here I always refer to it as like autumn. It's now autumn everywhere you go. So we're gonna we're gonna get me some some stuff, right? Because I like the stuff. It, it just feels better when I'm big and have the cape and have Yoshi with me and all that good stuff. I should check the uh the, the beginning area with Yoshi's house. I don't think there's anything that actually happens there, which is a little disappointing to me, but I think that is the case. I don't think there is like anything here. Um, it's possible to fill in the dot line blocks to fill in the yellow ones, right? Just about the yellow switch palace. And then once again, you can eat all this stuff, but it doesn't matter. But now I have a sense of completion about it and I want to try. And then, there we go. Yeah, nothing nothing happened as a result of that, but uh, Yoshi is now out of food in his cupboard. All right, so we'll go through kind of every uh, world here to see all the different things that I have accomplished as a result of getting all of the exits. Basically, this happens though when you beat uh, all the special levels. It doesn't happen when you um, get all of the exits. I just happen to get both at the same time. But yeah, this is, this is pretty much it, right? Forest of Illusion is now, you know, in fall. That's the way that I always saw it. It's, it's in fall. <laughs> Which is kind of nice, but it's weird as well. Uh, Chocolate Island is now green, which is still strange because it's a, it's a weird green. It's not like a grass green. It's like a sickly green. And then we can head in here and we can see uh, Bowser's. I think it's a little different. I think it's a little brighter, nicer looking. Uh, but uh, that is all of the uh, exits in the game. That puts me up to 96, which will show at the, well, whenever you reload the game, whenever you reload the save, it'll show uh, that you have completed all of the exits. But I think that is going to do it for, oh, I should mention before I go, um, there are a couple enemies that change as well. Um, I don't know if I can show all of them off. Uh, there's a couple I can. Um, let's, let's just warp back. Even Star Road has a, a different palette at this point. Uh, let's show off, I don't know, something. Uh, we'll go to Donut Plains 1. I think there, there should be like Koopas here, right? 
Uh, there's these guys. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're not the ones I was looking for. Don't want that. Chuck is the same. Like I said, it's just a couple enemies here and there. Uh, but they do uh, change a couple enemies. There we go. Uh, so Koopas now look like this. Uh, they're now Mask Koopas. That's the term that I've heard for them. Um, the piranha plants are now uh, jumping. The jumping piranha plants are now like jumping pumpkins. So that's that's a thing. Um, there's there's only one other one, uh, and that's Bullet Bills. Uh, they will look a little different as well. I don't know if there's a Bullet Bill anywhere near here though. Damn it! I didn't want that. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a force of habit. I have to have things a certain way. I have to think where where a bullet bill would show up. They're pretty rare, uh, but they're the other enemy that has uh, changed as a result of us beating the bonus world. Oh, I don't think I can actually. That's right, I can't beat the, the level normally. We have to kind of... Well, I could beat the level normally, but it's better to just do that. Uh, where can I find a bullet bill? I don't think... I'm trying to think. I, I don't think Bonsai Bill counts. And he was in this one, if memory serves me correctly. I just saw a whole bunch of bullet bills, though. So, I could go back to special. Yeah, Bonsai Bill is the same. Bonsai Bill is the same. Can I get out of here? Not really. But yeah, Bullet Bills and um, the Koopas and the Jumping Piranha Plants. The regular Piranha Plants are the same, but these Jumping ones, they're new. Alright, we'll head in there. We'll try to find me a bullet bill somewhere. So I can at least show it off before we get to uh, Bowser's Castle. I was ducking. I was holding down, they just did not care. So yeah, now the, uh, the shells look like this, which is weird. I'll take it. I mean, I'm here. I might as well play at least decently. Not the best. Not as good as I was the first time through, but, you know, okay. The bonsai bills are the same. It's kind of weird to me that you get introduced to, bon really? to bonsai bill before you get introduced to bullet bill. So let's head back to the special area because I know that's where I can find some bullet bills. I don't need any powers. I just need to get to the spot where there are bullet bills. Yeah, it's hard to think like where are certain enemies in this game. But you know, once, once you know where you're going, it, I, I guess it makes some sense. Let's go to Outrageous, I guess. This is where it was. Yes, this looks, this looks right. It's gonna take me a bit, but we'll get to Bullet Bills. There it is. See, look, it's now a uh, Pidget Bill, I'm told. That's, that's what it's called. So let's just go ahead and uh, die. Wasn't there a... Whatever. So those are the enemies that have changed. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm going to then uh, get my powers back because I, I've shown off all the different enemies that happened as a result of going through that. There's really only a couple things left for me to do in this game. Uh, one of them though is to go through the front door of Bowser's castle. Um, 
and you'll see hopefully why I went through the back door in the normal playthrough when I go through the back door or when I go through the front door. Basically, I'm going to go through the front door four different times. That's the idea. Uh, the other thing that was requested of me was to do a minimum exit run of the game. Uh, you can do it very, very quickly in this game. Um, so I'll, I'll try to show that off as well, but uh, we will take care of these things next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Super Mario World. I've been Mario Scoop. I've been joined as always by a fully stocked Mario. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.